Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. As you are editing images, there will come times when you will make a mistake or simply don't like a change you've made. The undo command is an easy way to trace your steps backwards. Pressing the Ctrl plus Z keys on your keyboard will undo your last command. If you continue pressing those keys, you will keep undoing your last few commands in reverse order. Alternatively, you can choose Edit, Undo from the menu bar. You can redo something you've undone by choosing Edit, Redo from the menu bar, or by pressing Ctrl plus Y on your keyboard. You can also use the Undo and Redo buttons that appear in the taskbar. The Revert command removes all edits and reverts the image back to the last time you saved your file. To revert the image, select Edit, Revert from the menu bar, or press Shift plus Ctrl plus A on your keyboard. Elements keeps track of the changes you make to your images step by step. You can view the history panel that stores these steps if it isn't displayed by selecting Window, History from the menu bar. Whenever you perform an action, that action is listed at the bottom of the history panel as the most recently performed action. Using the undo command moves back through the actions you've performed. In the history panel, you can then click any of the steps that are shown to revert the image back to where the image was at the selected step in the editing process. You can also click the picture of the image at the top of the panel to revert back to the image prior to all edits since you last saved the image. Note that actions you step over still appear in the history panel. To permanently delete an action and all actions after it, right click the action and select delete from the menu that appears. Then click yes to confirm the deletion. To delete all history, Simply click the Clear History command instead, then click OK to confirm the deletion. By default, the History panel stores your last 50 steps. You can change this number up to 1000 by selecting Edit, Preferences, Performance from the menu bar to open the Performance tab of the Preferences dialog box. Change the number of history states to your desired level using the drop-down or entering an amount into the adjacent field and then clicking the OK button. Keep in mind that the more steps you store in your history panel, the more memory is required by elements. It's also important to note that once you close a file on which you are working, all of its editing history disappears. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachyoucomp dot com forward slash free